Old P90. Dude, everyone's using every weapon. We got the FAMAS, the SCAR, P90. Dude, I cannot even see the kill feed because of this quality. Look at this. Oh my god. It's crazy because you go back to like old MW2 and you're like, if you watch any YouTube videos back then, you're probably like, wow, this is insane. We got YouTube videos for video games and then the quality is like this, but you don't realize in the time. Dude, you know what I actually really miss? Like the OG, like calling calling cards like this, like the different uh, call signs and stuff that you could have in the emblems. I think they just made it way too more like complicated. It was pretty simple and cool to unlock everything, but now it's like, it's just different. I'm kind of excited for these maps to be back. I wish they added a little bit more just diversity with like new maps, but I assume like in new seasons and stuff, we'll be getting new maps. Let's go Cap. GG. Dude, look at this spot. This spot's insane. Bro, the menu music, the, the XP bar. This shit's giving me nostalgia, for real. Look at Jcap ending the ending in the search five zero zero. Dude, wait, is this wait wait is this Pucket on the fucking call? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Pucket is calling in like it's a radio show. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, it's like he's a field reporter. This is actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Look, you, they're not even in a, a party or anything, or like a Skype. There, you can literally see their comms like in the game. Did they not use Skype or anything? Like, I, I guess not. Dude, I miss this ump, bro. I hope that they they do the ump well in this next game. Cause if it's if it's not good, I'm gonna cry. See how you see uh the flag guy has marathon on? I think that's cool. And that's really good Dude, the this cap. is. <laughs> I need so, I need some 480p at least, brothers. Prestige needs to come back. Yeah, I have legit no idea why they took it out. I know a lot of people that are like casually just played just to grind prestiges, and then they took it out. It took half the fun out away from them. Bo1 were the best. Bo1 were really nice. I love the uh, what was it, 15th prestige Bo1, like the skull crossbones one. Dude, look at this spot. They're just in a stalemate and caps just in this fucking corner. This is so cheese. This is hilarious. Let's go, Jcap. This is the this is the boring part of CTF, guys. It's just full on stalemate where you have the guy on the screen literally licking a wall in the corner. This is why people don't want CTF in, back in the game. I would welcome it back, but this is why people don't, and I understand it. See, per the perk diversity. We have some people running marathon, some people running sleight of hand. I think terminal hard point would work. I wonder where the hard points would be, but it feels like it would be a hard point map for compared to like all the other maps that we have to play with. I'm a little bit, dude, I'm a little bit worried about hard point on these maps, but also like spawns. Like we just don't know where spawns will be. And if spawns suck, then that's not good. Search will be nice on this game. I should say search will be good in this game if we have dead silence that's fully dead silent. Uh, because last year was awful, uh, but also like the search maps last year kind of sucked. And same with Vanguard, like the search maps in Vanguard sucked too. So at least we'll have good search maps. The state control run it. Could you imagine, wait, could you imagine the good side and bad side on the state control? Like you having to fucking fight up a hill. It's like the defense would win every single round. I honestly, dude, one of the low-key things I really liked about this was just the weapon diversity in this. Dude, I've seen like at least, what, five, six weapons so far, and we've, we're in the middle of the second map. Five different weapons in two maps. Think about that. When's the last time we had five different weapons in two maps? Scrapyard demo, baby. Absolute blender. Oh, we got an MTAR too, bro. That's six now. This is this is crazy. I did not expect this much weapon diversity. This is actually nuts. But you might not get nated that way. I just I just hope we have a burst weapon like the FAMAS like that. That'll that'll get me hyped. I'm not gonna lie. It's been it's been such a long time since we had one. Spectator, alright. Let me swing planes. Let me swing both planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, the the listenings are like the old Xbox mics, dude. Oh, oh, wow, this takes me back, bro. I just don't see us playing Scrapyard next year. This map is just way too small for Attack Sprint COD, unfortunately.
if let's say we played demo this year, we played demo scrapyard, we would literally have kids going fucking like 75 and 75. Not even kidding. 150 engagements. Glad they're bringing back some memories. They're bringing back memories for me too. I didn't watch. I didn't watch pro during this time, but all like the the stuff from pubs is is bringing. It's coming back to me. Oh, that is a cheeky spot. Wow. I forgot about this. Look at that line of sight. Damn. I think we're 100% playing this map uh, for search. Oh, he's going for the spawn snipe with a thermal intervention. You see that? Oh, how do you not put... Dude, observer, how do we not put the thermal intervention on the screen? Come on, man. Wait, what the hell? How did he get a sub kill? How do you get a sub kill across the map? They must have been team shot or something. Whoa, nerd spots. What is this? Okay, noted. Noted, people. You think it'll be a fun year for competitive COD this year? Uh, I think so. I think at least, bare minimum, we'll have good search maps, so it'll be good search wise. Obviously, we've never played uh, like hardpoint on these maps or control, but. I have hopes. I have high hopes. I think it'll definitely be better than the last two games for sure. Hopefully we get a multiple gun meta haven't had in a long time. Facts, dude. We should we should 100 percent have a three gun meta. I think that's always the best. Like one sub, one main AR, and one like flex gun. As long as we have a four burst AR, like we should like where you need to hit all the shots, we should be having one in the meta. I always thought it was cool to have one in the meta. I love using burst ARs. So satisfying. I just want to know like how the, the maps work first and how the spawns will work. But I'm I'm confident like dude, first week of search and destroy tournaments is going to be so nice because it's going to be like good maps and it's just core search. Yeah, I'm excited for Red Dots to be back too. I'm just bewildered that we didn't even have it last year like crazy to me. What spawn system do I want? Like similar spawns to Vanguard, uh, Cold War or new system Cold War. Give me Cold War spawns. Cold War spawns made sense. Actually, like there were a few different cases where it didn't, but for the most part, it made sense compared to everything else. Offseason gone quicker than expected. Dude, to me, this shit has been taking forever. And we still got a month. Like, dude, for me, this is, this is taking such a long time. I'm not going to lie. I actually really like this map for competitive. We're going to be seeing this for search. And if we, I would assume we're playing this for hard point too, but this will be for sure a map. Do pros not like four gamers in a series like AW or like BO3? Or do you mean like AW as in like we switch game three for like CTF uplink? Or if you're talking about four game modes like BO3 where it's hard point search, like uplink CTF and then like only one hard point. I think everyone just likes two hard point, two searches for sure, just because of like for practice and, and just actual consistency within within modes or within series, I think. Because you have your two core respawns with the with the hard points, two core searches, and then you have that one swing mode. If we could somehow make some type of uplink game mode, that would be it would be dope. Thermal snipe off the cross? To begin with, love these intervention thermals, bro. This is why I love this map for search. These cross spots, dude. They're so fun to watch. Optic versus fear. This is this is Seth on fear playing against Optic. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Look at him with the gorilla, dude. <laughs> dude, I I really miss these old uh these old calling cards. And they were so simple but so nice. He's playing Nate Shot, Scum first Nate Shot, CTF, high rise for all the viewers. MVP Assassin was a good calling card. Which calling cards did you guys use back in MW2 if you remember? Dude, I'm, I legit cannot remember what I used. That's so unfortunate. If I actually, actually, if I looked at a list, I'm gonna bring up the list right now. I think I used God Hand. I just like the, the term God Hand. Calling three AC 130s. High def, I actually use like that. High def was one of the first ones I used because uh, I got a kill cam with the chopper gunner like super early. I guess I, I must have gotten it from like a care package or some shit. Dude, how cool were these though? Angel of Death, yeah, Angel of Death was cool. Ender Galactic, win 20 Sabo matches. I, I remember grinding Sabo just to get this calling card. I'm not gonna lie. Number 56 was impossible to get playing legit, which was 56. Dictator, fire an entire LMG into. Oh, dude, I never got this one for sure. Which one was the one that, uh, oh, it was like STD where you had to do it against somebody else? Oh, I did, um, My Name Is Too. I thought the Hello My Name Is was really cool.
I don't know why, like middle school me was like, oh, hello, my name was, was awesome. One of my friends like, ran My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I want BO2 Pick 10 back too. BO10 Pick 10 was the fucking best. Pineapple Express was funny too. And the heart one. Dude, all of these were fucking cool, man. Why don't we have these back, dude? I would grind the hell out of these. Dude, the, the Spanish, the Conqueror one with the AC-130, that was cool. I'm not gonna lie. The Prestige ones, which one was my favorite Prestige one? I did like the Tiger one. Nine Lives was cool, but I don't know if I ever reached Nine Lives. Because I, I stayed at like six or seven Prestige for a very long time. I don't know if I ever went above that. I think I just stayed. 12 year old you was, was thought you were cool with the joint ops. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. We got to do calling cards or emblems now. Oh, which ones did I use? I thought the little Mario was nice. Like that thing. I thought the emblem was composed. Yeah, the, the gorilla one was nice too. The uh, spinning ones were so sick, but I was like, oh, I have to grind AC-130s out for this one. I don't know if I ever got it. The call on your nuke while your enemy team is losing, the, the fucking animated one, that one was sick. I remember using that. I also used Burger Town for a little bit. I just thought of Burger Town was just fucking hilarious. Fucking middle school me. I thought all the, the GIF ones were cool too. I remember my first one was still uh, still to this day on Favela. I was so nervous. My I was I was shaking, bro. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I got my Harrier, got my fucking AC-130. I was like, I'm gonna do it. Literally sweating. My hands are sweating. Dude, I remember my first time uh, just straight up full camping trying to get it. I was like, I need to get this nuke today. I was just trying so hard. Need the ACR back? Agreed. This, this ACR was like the best version and it was so clean. So, so clean. You remember pa people tack insert boosting in pubs in a random corner? Yes. And I'll tell you a fucking hilarious story. This is a uh, end of November, to, like once the game came out, my IRL friend messaged me. He was like, yo, yo, I found like a crazy good way to like get a nuke. Like this is such an, a good idea. And I thought this was genius. And it was just hit, like us boosting in a free for all. But we would take turns like he would uh, be the one to kill me. I'd throw my attack insert down. And I was like, yo, this is such a good idea. Like I'm going to like we're going to get nukes. And I didn't realize till later how dumb it was. <laughs> he was just like, dude, I, I figured out such a good idea to, to get nukes. I was like, you're a fucking genius. And we just boosted for like two or three nukes. Dude, we had one who was on on a wasteland and we were just hiding in like a behind a, a random tank and no one could find us because it was fucking wasteland. Dude, yeah, I'm guilty of attack. Dude, if you didn't attack boost, like did you really did you really play MW2? Come on. Wait, wait, can we talk about this? Dude, can we talk about how easy it was to join and invite people with one button and like Dude, I swear it's gone backwards since Xbox One PS4 release because this shit was like the best right here. I'm not going to lie. The UI is so bad now. How have we gone so far back? Dude, I remember back in like PS4 days, just like a few years ago. Dude, you'd have to press like five different buttons to actually join a party with a friend. I would join a, a party in one button with the Xbox 360.